Hey, Dad. I got the... Not right now. I'm busy. But it'll only take us... I told you I was busy. Okay. Okay, hold. Let me see what you have. This? Yeah, yeah. You made this? I, I did, I this did. Is, this is... This is garbage. If crap were art, this would be art, but it's just crap. I, I like to think of it as interpretive. It's like a retard made this. Try again. She Sheila, thank you so much. We have here Bob um, to talk about his Inclusion Art Festival. Bob, thank you so much for being here. Please tell us more. Well, thank you very much. Well, yeah, it's called the Inclusive Art Festival, and we're bringing together local artists from the community with an emphasis on adults with disabilities. Oh, that is so wonderful. You know, I volunteer to help disabled people. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you know, I think they're so, so special, and they, they really do need our help, don't they? Oh, absolutely. You know, I have a grandson who is actually getting quite a reputation for his work. Now, in fact, he also happens to be autistic. <laughs> He's an artistic autistic. Uh, <laughs> but it must be so hard for you. Well, no, actually, uh, it's great. Uh, I love his work. Well, that's what got me thinking about starting the festival in the first place. A bleeding heart. I like that. You know, everywhere I go, I, I carry headshots with me, and sometimes I give out so many, I, I run out. Listen, before you leave, I'm going to give you a stack of headshots and make sure you pass them out at your festival. Make sure you get them to all the disabled kids. Well, that's it from us. Thank you, Bob, for being here. Back to you, Sheila. Okay. Bob, thank you so much for being here, and good luck with the artistic autistic. Look. I'm sorry, but his name is Leo. Now, please, watch your language when it comes to adults with disabilities. It's offensive. Now, uh, who are you anyway? Who am I? Who are you? Listen, you know, he's artistic, he's autistic. I don't see why that's so offensive. And it's a bunch of mentally retarded oh, people putting on an on. art show. Who are you? You are about to find out. I'm gonna be talking to Mark about you. My producer? Go ahead, go tell my mom while you're at it too. You realize that's the new owner of the station. Uh, oh. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. Seriously, Mark? You, no, you can't fire me after 10 years? Really? Oh, come on, no. And you don't even call me in. I find out over Twitter, are you? Good. Can someone help me? I'll help. Watch this. Hey, Leo! Or should I say Leekwad, like in high school? What's the problem? Oh, no. No, I... What's the problem? I need any help from you? Sure you do. They gave you your own wall, huh? Yeah. Last year I won first prize, so they gave me this wall. But they need to be straight, not crooked. It's not professional. Do you like them? Like them? If crap were art, this would be it. But it's not. It's crap. Looks like some retard did it. Oh wait, a retard did do it. That's what I should call you, leaktard. Retard! Look at this! Who did this? Michael, what are you... No! Wait a minute, this is your son? And didn't I just fire you? You got fired? Yeah. 
Bob, can you give us a chance to make this right? Well, look, is your son gonna make it right with my grandson, too? Yeah. Yeah, we'll make it right. Well, all right. One chance, J.D. One chance. You make this right, and I just might give you your job back. I meant to, Michael. I, I blame myself. I'm, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry too, Leo. I'm going to try to be better if he's going to try to be better. And if it means anything, I, I want to help make this right. Okay. about the amazing work that you guys did, collaborated on together, okay? It, but I mean, we pulled it off. That critic over there, he's... Don't worry. We're here at the Inclusive Art Festival with Leo Segal and Michael Duncan, who's collaborated on a piece called The Bullied and the Bully. Can you tell us more about your inspiration? As a former bully, I truly regret everything I've done. I regret how I've been mean to my peers. I regret my actions over the years, and I forget the words I said. My dad's been a jerk to me my entire life, so it kind of rubbed off on me in that regard. It's true, I've been a jerk, and I'm trying to change that, and trying to make sure that Michael um, goes on with uh... Leo, can you tell us more about your inspiration? I was able to improve upon my original inspiration f from what was tragic, into an informative collaboration uh, and thus I was able to subdue the conflict. Great job guys. I'm so proud of this work and the work that you guys did. The exhibit's going to be showcasing all month thanks to the support of Bob Segal uh, and this is JD signing off. Thank you guys. Bob, thank you so much. Hey, you did right. You did a good thing. Thanks. Thank you. It was, it was really my pleasure. I learned so much this experience. Well, look, Monday morning, same time, same station. Really? All right? Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thanks for all you've done. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. You know you need a... Michael, unique... it's your big day. Oh, thank you. It is. Did you get those notes I talked about? Yeah, great job. I especially love the one about the catchphrase. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I was worried that it wouldn't jive, but thank you. Thank you for confirming. Hey, you're going to knock him dead. With your help, anything's possible. Hi, everybody. I'm Adam Thayer. I was privileged to play the role of Bob in our film Redemption, along with my other cast members and our director of the film as well. I would just like to say personally that this film has affected me deeply because bullying is real. The statistics which you saw on the wall reflect accurate statistics for bullying. People are affected by bullying. People's lives in many cases are ruined and each one of our cast members and myself actually have also experienced effects of bullying. I was particularly touched at the, at the part when Aaron, who played the part of my grandson, crumbled down knowing that his artwork had been ruined. His whole life was crumbling away. I was sitting off here in the wings, almost in tears. And that was just for a movie, but it happens in real life. So folks, if you have the opportunity to see this film, mention it to others that they too can be made more aware of the effects of both.